welcome to power system experts today we'll be starting a new series in which we'll be discussing various elements used in power system protection studies and their modeling in pscad we'll be starting from the basic elements and then we'll be proceeding towards the more complicated elements like protection relays their modeling and application in pscad so we'll be starting with um, the very basic element which is the circuit breaker you can access this from this tab breaker faults in which various types of circuit breakers are available for this application or example you can say we can we'll be using the three phase breaker uh, let's have a look at the various parameters of the circuit breaker uh, the first one is the single pole operation if we select it yes we can control each individual pole of the circuit breaker independently but if we select it no th then all three poles will be controlled by a single control pulse the next one is uh, open possible at any current if we select it no then we can set the current chopping limit here for example if it is set at zero then uh, whenever an open signal is sent to the circuit breaker it will open at the next zero crossing uh, if we select it as as yes then uh, it can op it will open instantaneously irrespective of the magnitude of the current so we'll select it as no then you can add pre-insertion resistance data. If it is selected as yes, then you can add pre-insertion data in this module. You can assign the pre-insertion resistance value. You can add the closing uh, delay in the circuit breaker like normally uh, in extra high voltage circuit breakers like 132 kV or 220 kV, we have uh, a closing uh, delay of uh, roughly from 30 millisecond to 60 or 70 millisecond so you can actuate that uh, actual signal actual uh, scenario by adding time delay for the circuit breaker and then you can also add pre-insertion uh, the bypassing sorry time delay uh, after this time delay the resistance uh, will be bypassed uh, and please note that this time delay uh, will start from the instant the closing pulse is given to the circuit breaker. Uh, let's get back to this breaker main data. In this uh, module, you can assign a name to the circuit breaker and each individual circuit breaker can then be accessed individually. For example, if I set this breaker name as BRK, I can uh, control the circuit breaker by assigning a data signal to this name like for example I assigned BRK to it so I'll name it as BRK and then uh, through this signal I can control the circuit breaker how I can control the circuit breaker operation I'll get back to the uh, same module breaker faults in which uh, we have a module called timed breaker logic I'll select it I'll assign it to that BRK so in that in this way this module will be linked to this circuit breaker. Uh, when we open it, it gives options like how many operations of circuit breaker you want. For example, it is two or one. If I select it as one, it will ask what will be the initial state. You can set it as close or open. And then you can assign the time from the starting of the simulation uh, where you want to close the circuit breaker. So this is how you will be closing. Uh, you will be uh, controlling the circuit breaker. You can assign like a uh, number of operations to, and then you can uh, control. For example, if the circuit breaker is open uh, initially, it will close at one second, and after 1.05 second, it will again open. So this uh, is meant by the two pole, two uh, number of operations of circuit breaker. Then you can assign also the open resistance. Uh, normally you set it at the maximum value and for the closed resistance you set it as the minimum value. Uh, the closed resistance of circuit breakers are normally in the vicinity of uh, like 20 to 40 uh, micro ohms normally. So this is, uh, and then there are, there is a module of internal outputs. For example, you want to uh, have a look at what amount of current is flowing in the circuit breaker I can assign a value of IA to this uh, phase A current and then I can access it, access it by again assigning the data signal to IA and 
assigning an output channel to this and then we can pl plot uh, this uh, on on the graph so this was all about the beta we'll discuss the other elements in in our next lectures thank you